All right, new MLM. So let me tell you a little story, right? So I was in foreclosure. I was dead broke. I was a million dollars in debt. I was being chased by bill collectors. I'd gone through a divorce and my girlfriend that I was dating at the time was paying my utility bills. She was working as a, a, a working at the makeup counter, okay? And now my, I'm very fortunate, my beautiful wife, okay? She stuck with me when things were very tough, okay? And so again, million dollars in debt, behind on, on all bills, in personal foreclosure, being chased by bill collectors. Before I left the house, I literally looked out the blinds to see if anyone's waiting out there with, you know, with a clipboard, right? To give me a sign stuff and serve me papers. And so here I was and I join a network marketing company and I'm like, you know what? I got nothing else going for me. I, I, I literally have nothing in my life that is making money. Nothing in my life makes sense. I'm gonna make this damn thing work. I'm gonna make it work. And so I embrace two words. My rank makers know what they are. I embrace the word until. I'm gonna do the damn work until I create success. And I embrace the word despite. I'm gonna make it happen despite all of my challenges. I'm gonna make it happen despite all the different things going on in my life. I'm gonna make it happen despite any challenge that faces my way, literally. I could have walked down the street and a Tyrannosaurus Rex tried to you know, chomp me. I'm gonna juke it out, I'm gonna shake and bake, and I'm gonna go prospect somebody. Doesn't matter. A plane could have crashed right in front of me. I'm blown back and after I you know, dust myself off, I'm, I'm gonna go prospect somebody. I am going to make it happen because I embraced until, I embraced despite, okay? And so, but let me tell you, I joined a pre-launch network marketing company. Now, am I saying that's a good idea or a bad idea? I'm just telling you my story. I'm just telling you my story. There's, there's, there's good ideas about being in a new company. There's bad ideas about being in a new company. I found that life becomes what you make of it. And if you're looking for excuses on why to quit, you'll find them. You'll find them every time. And so uh, I talked to this guy. I, I actually talked about this. Um, I was on a team live with, with a new company actually last night. And I talked about this story. But I remember I, 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 I recruit this guy and he lives in Port Charlotte. And he's like, man, I'm gonna kill this thing, man. I'm gonna, woo -wee! Like, if you've ever seen Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone, he like turns his hat backwards, right? Like, woo, it's like a switch, baby, right? Like, he is fired up. He is ready to kill this thing. He's ready to be the top earner. He's gonna pass me up and he's gonna make it happen. And I'm like, yeah, baby, yeah, woo! Because I'm, I'm easily convinced. I'm easily duped, right? I'm like, woo, yes, woo! I do a little hop, man. And so he's like, I'm fired up. I'm turning the hats like a switch, baby. I'm uh, drinking motor oil. And so the next day, okay, after, after the honeymoon, I get apparently, right? The next day he goes, hey, uh, you know, I was going to order some business cards, but I don't, I don't see any business cards in the back office. And I'm like, yeah, you know, we're a new company, you know, so we don't have everything back there just yet. And, you know, so yeah, we don't have business cards just yet, but you know, you before I can even offer a solution like a Vistaprint, I don't know if you need business cards. I haven't had business cards for 10 years because nobody follows up. I follow up. I grab their business card. I put it in my packet because I follow up. They don't. Nobody does. Nobody does. People ask you for a business card. They still won't follow up with you, right? I follow up. I follow up. That's what I do. Okay? So I don't carry business cards. I haven't for 10 years. And so he's like, before I can offer a solution, I'm Vistaprint, right? Before I can even say anything, he goes, well, how am I supposed to build this business with no business cards? And I'm kind of like, uh, oh, I don't know, any other method, right? And he's like, man, this ain't gonna work out, bro. I, I, I'm out of here. He quit. He quit. So I don't know if I could, I, I wish I could draw a tiny baby bear, just like, mm, right? Just a little tiny baby teddy bear, just an itty bitty little thing, because that's how most network marketers are. That's how a lot of entrepreneurs are. They're little baby bears that are waiting for what's the next excuse of why I won't create success. And so if you're in a new network marketing company, let me give you a heads up. Let me give you a heads up. You're going to have software problems. You're going to have inventory problems. You're going to have things just not work. You probably will have a time where they don't pay you on time. Okay. I'm just telling you, 
You're gonna run out of inventory, you're gonna have software issues, you're gonna have a time, most likely, where they don't pay you on time, okay? Um, you're gonna not have all the marketing materials you need, you're gonna not have the right presentation, you're going to uh, have all kinds of that stuff, okay? So there's, you know, the, the, you know, the beginning here, so we'll just say beginning, okay? So you're gonna, uh, all kinds, just, just things, falling to pieces. I don't know how to draw it, right? So you got the, the beginning here, things falling to pieces. And it's just a mess, man. Software break in. You'll go to recruit someone, it'll be blue screen or just error. You know, you're not, we're not open in the United States, right? There's going to be software problems, inventory problems. There's going to be product problems. There's probably going to be a comp plan problem. There's going to be all kinds of problems, okay? Your baby bears are going to quit. The baby is sucking their thumbs, they're gonna quit. They're gonna say, well, I need something perfect. I need everything to be perfect and all inventory to be available at all times. And so they're gonna quit. They're going to quit. And I saw a great quote from, um, I wanna say Kevin Hart, but I, I could be wrong here. I think Kevin Hart said, if, if at the first sign of struggle you're ready to quit, you're just not meant to be an entrepreneur. Fact, fact. Okay, so those non-baby bears that make it through this period, that make it through inventory problems, software problems, comp plan problems, that make it through, uh, you, know, you know, I don't know what else is there. I'm trying to think of all the problems we had, which by the way, in that new network marketing company, I became the number one income earner. Not because of lack of obstacles, believe me. Not because of lack of inventory or lack of problems or lack of software issues, we had all those things. All of them, every one of them, check, 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 right? And so the baby bears are gonna leave. They're just gonna paddle away and they'll, they'll, they'll go look for another baby bear destination where they'll quit that too. They'll find some reason. So they'll go to, they'll go to like a 50 year established company. And they're like, oh, you know what? I just need a 50 year established company. That's what I need. And then they'll get there and they'll say, well, well, geez, all the top earners have been in for a long time. Uh, uh, you know, how am I supposed, it's saturated. It's saturated, <laughs> right? They're gonna come up with some other bullshit excuse on why they can't create success over there, right? And so they'll leave, they'll, leave, they'll, they'll paddle, they'll be on a little you know, piece of plywood and they'll, they'll just paddle away from the new MLM. You're out of here with joy, right? They'll just paddle away and they'll go, established company, 50 years, they don't run out of inventory. And then they'll say, well, wait a minute, wait, all the people making money have been here a long time, saturated. The baby bears will always find the reason they can't create success always 100% of the time. But let me give you the journey, okay? So here's the journey. Beginning, you're gonna have software problems. You're gonna have comp plan problems. You're gonna have inventory problems. You're gonna have, you won't have business cards. You won't have the right marketing materials. You won't have the best presentation. You won't have the right tools. Your sample packs are gonna be weird, right? You'll send a sample pack and there'll be, you know, like a cockroach in it or something, right? And so you're gonna have problems, massive problems, okay? Baby bears, they're gonna, they're gonna paddle away. They're gonna go to the, uh, somewhere where they think the land is easier, right? They don't understand that the grass is greener until it's time to mow, so they just go over there and they're like, wait a minute, I gotta talk to people over here too. Damn it, right? Baby bears are gonna find a reason. So then you start to have some success. You start to have some success. Ha, killing it, man. So once you get to, and this varies by company, 30 million, 100 million, Something like that. So somewhere in the 30 to 100 mil range, okay? You get to 30 to 100 million, I'm, I'm saying the company, not, not you. Although I wish you well, I hope you do make 100 million. Uh, 30 to 100 million dollar range that your company receives, guess what's gonna happen? Negativity! You're gonna get a press release. You're gonna have someone in Nevada sue your company and say it, 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 it burn my eyebrows, right? You're gonna have somebody make a big stink. It's gonna be negative. There's gonna be press releases everywhere. You're gonna air on you know, prime time and they're gonna say that your owners kick dolphins or your owners you know, hate puppies or they're, you know, whatever, right? There's going to be negativity at 30 to $100 million a year any network marketing company is going to have negativity. There's gonna be negative articles. There's gonna be people talking smack. There's gonna be people saying, I hear they use dolphin blood in their shampoo, right? They're gonna make up stuff about you. There's gonna be, I'm telling you. So this will be another opportunity. 
the baby bears that hung on by a thread. And, and honestly, let's be honest, the baby bears are already gone. But between here and there, new baby bears will have joined. So baby bears will have joined during this period. And once you reach this, which reaches this, it's another opportunity for baby bears to swim away. They're just gonna paddle away and say, too negative, there's an article. <laughs> <laughs> right? They're just going to paddle away. They're going to say, oh, it's too negative over there, man. I need, ooh, a new company. And they'll go to a new company, have software problems, leave there too, then go to established company and saturate, right? Endless cycle. Endless cycle. <laughs> if you don't understand that there's going to be obstacles and you got to do the work, then you're going to keep going. You're going to keep paddling around, man. Oh, is, it, is that one new? Maybe it's, it's established. I don't know, right? Stop. Okay, so beginning, software problems, comp plan problems, inventory problems, no marketing materials, bad presentations, sample packs are totally screwed, they ship hazardous waste out, and you're like, ah, right? it's radioactive, right? Uh, get to 30 to $100 million, negativity is going to hit you. It, it could be a press release, it could be the media, it could be, you know, some former company owner sues your company. It's going to be something negative, though. And then... You get to the 250 million plus, okay? So at 250 million plus, something really fun happens. Now, if you are the gladiator, if you are just the, I'm gonna say it, you're the badass that came in here and you, you, you got the, you know, the software problem, pat, right? You shook it off. Inventory, pat, right? You shook it off, man. You had market materials that suck, poo. That one hurt. All right, okay. Um, you know, you, you had, you know, uh, you, you make it past this because you're a gladiator. You get to negativity. You know, it's a negative press release. Pow! Oh, oh man. Oh, that's done. Ah, a little cut. A little cut there. Let me put some salve on that, right? So you, you make it past that. Then you're going to get to this stage. And guess what's awesome about this stage? This is great. This is so fun. You know what, you know what people are going to say? <laughs> You ready for this? The baby bears are going to say, oh, you're so lucky you got in early. <laughs> they don't see the battle wounds. They don't see the knife you, you took from your best friend. They don't see the, the two by four you took over the back. Ah, oh, right? When it was a negative article. And they'll say, oh, you're so lucky. Oh, you found it when it was new. Oh, if only, if only I had gotten in when it was no. <laughs> and you can say with 100% certainty, I'd probably say it in my head though, no you don't because you would have quit. <laughs> so the baby bears are like, damn, damn Daniel, I wish I would have gotten in when it was new. Because if I got in when it was new, I'd be making big money like you. That's what you gladiators have to look forward to. So if you're in a new network marketing company, buckle up. You're either going to baby bear it out of there or you're going to be a damn gladiator and you'll get to chuckle at people later on a few years from now that say, if only I was in the new, right? And so it's your call. I get inventory problems, software problems, comp plan problems, uh, sample problems, marketing problems, website problems. You're going to have them all. If you don't have every single one of those, then... That's weird. It's strange. Okay? So you're either a gladiator and you're going to make it past all this crap and then get to enjoy the, the, the musings of the baby bear years from now that said, I wish I'd gotten in when it was new. Right? Or you're not. And you're going to keep paddling your boat to different things, hoping for something else and something else. Okay? You do the work. You know there's going to be obstacles. Period. End of story. That's what's going to happen, whether it's new or not. And so, helpful? Hope so. This person may be mad at me, but uh, I hope it helps you out. I really do. You can find more great marketing, prospecting, and recruiting tips just like these over at RayHigdon.com. And remember to pick up your free copy of his 29 sources of network marketing leads. We'll see you over there.